Kia ora everyone and welcome to your June 2015 Earth Prediction series reading with me. Thanks for following this particular reading that I offer because I know it's a little bit different from the other ones on my channel. I'm particularly fond of them and I think that um, if you're following along you also understand the whole direction behind them. And with climate change having become a little more um, noticeable I think for most people around the planet and having been brought to people's attention more, this whole particular reading system that I do seems to connect really well with the changes that we note around us at the physical level and I think also the earth changes. So if we want to start in with the reading for June for 2015 we'll start with this card here the work card. Work card the number eight. We see all of these wheels and cogs and um, things that make you think of moving parts of an engine so I often think when that card comes out, big engines, so things like ships, planes, buses, boats, trains, that type of thing. And the card also says that the word on the bottom of it is work. So sometimes I think there can be work-related incidents or accidents or issues to do with perhaps companies that are unusual. Maybe we hear of some global companies doing something that's unexpected or out of the norm that they would normally, um, a manner that they would normally behave in. Now if you take a look over here at this card, we see the wheel and it's almost completely channeling or um, doubling up on the messages of that first card and I often say to people when you get two cards in a reading that are similar, that message seems to be more potent and more powerful. Now the other thing I think about with the wheel card and these wheels over here are cycles of time and often I think of galactic cycles of time so something unusual about the time space that we're in now. Now astrologically speaking the particular planetary lineups that we've been having for the last few years and are continued going to have we haven't experienced these since something like the 1600s. Now I'm not an e expert on astrological issues by any means, so I listen to a lot of what other people are actually saying. But we know for sure that most of us have been feeling very intense um, energies around us, especially to do with ourselves, who we are, our psyche, and um, our relationships and directions moving forward. So I think that this card and this one also relate to kind of things like that. So you might see changes taking place at a global level, big changes. They can be country, political, uh, personal changes, you know, like the gay rights marriage, for instance, that Ireland voted in recently. You see huge things like that come about when you notice these cycles of change coming. So we'll move on to the next one, the Sage. Now he actually hasn't appeared in a reading for a very long time, I think probably well over a year. And I have only ever seen him come out two or three times. So I haven't got a great in-depth perspective of his entire energies and what he offers us for these readings. But if we look at him, he is a well-known authority on something and he is going through um, intensive looking notes and they look quite... Uh, mathematically aligned or um, to do with angles and I often think of planets again. So sometimes I have related this card to meaning information coming from space or pertaining to space, uh, perhaps new technological advancement or understanding or information that's passed across to us. It can also be to do with literally looking up at the stars and seeing something unusual in the month of July, which could be again planetary lineups or something along those lines. And if we see laying right above him is this last card of the reading, which is the Father card, and of course he always points up towards the sky. So we're looking at things in the sky. So I've mentioned a couple of times July while well, I've been doing this reading. <laughs> Um, and I've had to sort of go back again and just restart it a bit. So for some reason I'm jumping ahead into July and I'm not sure what that's all about either. Um, but anyhow, this is for the June reading. So coming back to the Sage, I often think of him as um, 
as well as his sort of feeling of alignment with planetary issues and technology he can be literally an important man around the planet and, and it does have to be a male of some sort and it can be a political figure so there could be something that comes to light in the month of June with a well-known dignitary or male political figure that he brings his uh, he brings attention to a matter that he's either dealing with or wants to be made known in one way or another or there could even be something about him personally so we'll have to keep our eyes open and sort of um, just watch the movement on that one now if we come to the union, the third card in, we see this here merging really strong fast flowing waterfalls and rocks in it, they're lumps of rock. So I often think to myself with this card that it talks about rapid flowing water and it could be that it's come from flooding of some sort, so heavy weather storms that have flooded an area and they can merge together to form one almighty river or water flowing and it can also be that there could be landslides as well even avalanches and things like that so we think of things that are falling and destabilized because of torrential rain or big storms that's the probably the biggest um, message for the Union card and I know that at the moment at the beginning of June and through late May America has certainly been inundated with these terrible rainstorms down in the south and through Texas and I'm not sure that that has actually finished yet and that's kind of the energy that this Union card gives off. So we come back again to the wheel which I've already mentioned it sits right next to this card and there's a bit of a double message here as well because we see fast spinning water with the wheel so again I think of rapid water movement and it can be through either heavy heavy rains or um, rivers or streams that are pushed to the breaking point and they just literally expand and take over ground and roar through things I also think of crops being damaged because these look a bit like crops and I've mentioned already how the wheel itself can be tied into this card in the way of either um, issues to do with times or energies around us like astrology type energies or astronomy in our skies as well as to do with engines. We come to this card which primarily was the last card for the reading and it's the Fool. I often associate this card with earthquakes and it's a strange thing, it's mainly because of this house on the very edge over here, it's teetering on the edge of nothing and it looks as though it's about to fall. So I think of houses that get shaken around and fall over one way or another. Now it may be that they're moved around through fast flowing water, it could be something like that, like an inland tsunami. Or it can be shaking and often when the full card turns up there are quite large earthquakes and some of them can be very strong and large and you know around that seven magnitude and some of them can even be above so we'll have to see in July what um, type of size quakes we get keep an eye out for me everyone and make sure you put your comments down and post any news that you pick up and see because that's how this particular reading works I generally try and keep up to date with posting as accurate news events as I can about the kind of topics and scenarios that we talk about in the reading the last card the father card lying on his side here at the very top interesting if we turn him around and look at him often I think of father and son issues so they can be to do with families and they can be quite um, unexpected family events that really create a bit of heart passion for other people and they go oh that's really sad how could something like that happen and it can often be with a father and a son involved some way or a father and his children and the other thing we think of is they are pointing up at the sky, so we're looking to the skies, we're looking to see what's coming from the skies, whether it's weather or some sort of objects falling out of the sky or falling from the sky or traversing it. And that's actually what the sage can be. Maybe we see extra comets coming in or asteroids for the month of June. And 
we think of this too, he's, they're using artillery. So we also know that we've got the feeling of war going on. So we're still getting the warring feeling in the background, possibly that whole terrorism thing. We know it's not going away. So whether or not that has an uptick for June, just keep our eyes on that. There could also be some flaring and maybe up and further up in the northern hemisphere through the top part of Europe. Okay guys, so that's about it for the Earth Predictions reading. As I say, thank you all for tuning in and um, showing your care and concern for what's going on around us all. And um, sometimes if we just keep our eyes open and we have an open mind, we find solutions. And that's, I guess, what the readings are about as well. So take care everyone. Have a great June and July, <laughs> I guess. So kia kaha and much araha.